Hi, welcome to our videos of mathforallgrades.com. This video will tell you about how to find in a triangle if there is a possibility of the formation of acute angle or right angle or obtuse angle. In a triangle, which of these three angles can be formed given the length of any two sides and the perimeter of the triangle. Let's start. <coughs> so I repeat, this solved problem in geometry, this video is about trying to find what kind of angle among these three will be formed in a triangle in which length of the sides of any two sides and the perimeter is given. Fine. So we have given that perimeter is 32. Perimeter is what? Sum of the lengths of the three sides in a triangle stands for perimeter. A is length of one side, B is length of a second side, C is length of the third side. In the question, length of two sides are already given to us. Let them be any of them. AB is A, BC is B. That doesn't matter. Which length is which number makes no difference. So let us write 12 for A, 13 for B and find out the length of the third side C. So perimeter is given as 32. So sum of these three sides, two of which are 12 and 13, third side C length we are, we are having to find that. So sum of these three sides is 32. So the length of the third side C will be 32 minus 25. Where is that 25 coming from? Here. 12 plus 13 is 25. Take it to the right side. So 32 minus 25 is equal to 7. So now we have the length of the three sides in the triangle and they are 7, 12, 13. So we are now going to find out which is in the triangle ABC is there any scope for the formation of an obtuse triangle or right angle triangle. Okay, right 7 here, AB is given as 7, BC is 13, so AC is 12. So what we will do is pick the biggest number 13 and check if the square of the biggest number among the three numbers representing the length of the sides in the triangle among the three pick the biggest number and find if its square is greater than sum of the squares of the other two numbers other two numbers standing for the lengths of the other two sides try to proceed with this you can also try to verify whether it is equal you can also explore whether it is less than that is square of the biggest number 13 is less than sum of the squares of the other two numbers. Try to verify this. Now you may have to find 13 square on your own. I know it as 169. So I will write down. 7 square is 49 and 12 square is 144. Let us assume that 13 square may be greater than 7 square plus 12 square. But what it turns out? 13 square 169 happens to be less than 7 square 49 plus 12 square 144. 169 is less than 193. 49 plus 144 is 193. So we have 13 square is actually less than 7 square plus 12 square. That is, the square of the greatest length in the triangle is less than the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides, namely 7 and 12. Now, if you remember, this kind of inequality property exists on a side which is formed opposite what type of angle? Acute angle. If all the three angles in a triangle are acute, 
or suppose here is an acute angle if angle a is acute angle then bc which is opposite the angle a the square of its side length will be less than the sum of the squares of the other two sides this is acute angle property that is if the square of any side any side length is less than the sum of the squares of the lengths of the other two sides then such a side will be formed opposite acute angle and if it is equal then such a side will be formed opposite right angle if it is greater then such a side will be formed opposite an angle which will be obtuse in measure so using these triangle inequality properties on the lengths of sides we can definitely say what kind of angle among these three will be formed opposite a side having the particular lengths so in this question 13 square is less than 7 square plus 12 square that means you have this less than inequality being applicable so what kind of angle will be formed here opposite bc whose length obeys this property that is right what you thought is acute angle is right so it is acute angle and very obviously it needs no verification whether 7 square is less than sum of 12 square and 13 square that is too obvious to need a verification also 12 square is already less than 13 square plus 7 square it will be also so opposite the sides having the lengths 7 and 12 also among these three which kind of angle will be formed of course acute angle so in this way if you learn these triangle inequality properties then from the lengths of the sides we will be able to find out which of these three angles will be formed opposite any side having a particular length i hope this video was found useful by you thank you for watching